Hello, ladies and gentlemen. RP Tube Vision brings to you Wrestling Trivia Tuesday. Hello, mans and sirs, and welcome to Wrestling Trivia Tuesday. Appreciate you guys watching. I am Ronald Ray, your boy with a cornbread accent. As you see, we got the first question already up, so let's let her rip. Uh, question one, who was the first wrestler Jim Cornette managed? Was it A, Dutch Mantel, B, Sherry Martell, or C, Bobby Eaton? The answer is B, Sherry Martell. Yes, before he became the legendary manager of the Midnight Express, of course. Yokozuna, Owen Hart, Davy Boy Smith, uh, Heavenly Bodies. Skip, I totally skipped them, didn't I? Anyway, yes, he started out in Memphis. Didn't really know what he was doing. Uh, playing way like Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart, <laughs> Jim Cornette uh, at that time. So he got the man, Sherry Martell, uh, after her short time. I think the gimmick was he was not – a good manager, especially uh, him just starting out. Uh, so Sherry Martell came in, didn't do too well, so she left. Uh, Crusher Broomfield, who later became One Man Gang, who later became Akeem the African Dream. Uh, he didn't last long either. Dutch Mantel. Uh, but of course, you know, later on, we know he got his bid break in Mid-South with the Midnight Express, feuding with the Rock and Roll Express, and the rest is history. Okay, question number two. Sorry, folks, you got bear with me this week. I'm, like I said, I'm trying some new stuff here. Hopefully it works out. Still got some uh, crappy mic here, so, like I said, bear with me. Uh, anyway, question number two. Uh, of course, Miss South became UWF. Therefore, the UWF had have a new heavyweight champion. Uh, I think the story goes uh, somebody gave up their North American title, and instead of just having the North American champion be the new UWF champion, they did, they decided to have a tournament. Spoiler alert: It was won by Terry Gordy. Um, but anyway, so. This week's question is, who competed in the finals for the UWF Heavyweight Championship? Was it A, Terry Gordy versus Ted DiBiase, B, Terry Gordy versus Steve Dr. Death Williams, or C, Terry Gordy versus Hacksaw Jim Duggan? The answer is C, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Went against Terry Gordy. And it was Jim Duggan who gave up the North American title to have a chance to become the UWF champion. Uh, fortunately, one man, before the finals, one man gang came in, uh, took Duggan's head, ran him into the uh, ring post, crimson mask, had to get stitched up. Uh, they didn't know if he was going to be able to make it. Thought Terry Gordy was just going to waltz right out without a fight. But being a tough guy that he is, Hacksaw Jim Duggan did come out, face Terry Gordy. However, the injury was a little too much, and got to face it, Terry Bam Bam Gordy, you know, he was a bad man back in his day. And he would wind up defeating Hacksaw Jim Duggan to become the first UWF heavyweight champion. All right, question number three, or three. Uh, back in August 29th, 1988, the WWF, now WWE, uh, held the first SummerSlam pay-per-view. What was the opening match of the first SummerSlam? Was it A, the fabulous Rougeau brothers against the British Bulldogs, B, Ken Patera versus Bad News Brown, or C, the Burn Man, Coco Beware, versus the Big Boss Man. It's A, the Fabulous Rougeau Brothers, 
against the British Bulldogs. And if I remember correctly, I believe it ended up in a double DQ or uh, some kind of smalls. Anyway, appreciate you guys tuning in. And I do appreciate you guys hanging with me if you watch the whole thing. Uh, like I said, try something a little new. Improve my product a little bit. So hopefully this will work. Unfortunately, I'm still on location. Because uh, you can't hear the AC that's cut on. Uh, plus, they got me a room right beside I-85. So traffic's going yon, yon. Uh, okay, that sounded bad. Anyway. Appreciate you guys watching, and if, since you watched this far, hey, why don't you be a champ again and hit that subscribe button. That will be greatly appreciated as well. Until then, I'll catch you folks next time. We here at RP Tube Vision would like to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also check out friends of the show Ecolife and Natural for home-crafted candles, hand cloth, and other home and personal goods. Look them up on Facebook. Link will be available below the video. That is Ecolife and Natural.